about 23 episodes ago, I started the challenge of doing Kenshi as a solo character for 100 days, and we're finally almost there. A motorcycle driving by while I'm trying to do my intro. Fuck me, man. We're here with our boy Tom Foolery. Uh, you can't see his face because his uh, hat is pretty gnarly. Let's take that off. There we go. Got our boy Tom Foolery here. It's been a lot of training to get to this point, okay? I know it doesn't look like much, but he's got robotic arms robotic legs he's got great weapons he has an entire base for himself he's conquered numerous different bounties but today is going to be the most challenging part of this entire series we're going to start off by fighting beak things just to show you guys the capabilities of tomfoolery as well as i'm going to discuss our plan for today so we're over here in shem at the trap of foolery but i want to go all the way down here to the ominous place that's supposed to be a really cool spot in the game with a bunch of stuff to do. I'm sure some of you guys know what it is. Well, well fuck, I probably got the guy in the thumbnail or the title or something. We're, we're gonna go see Catlon. We're gonna try to fight him after uh, Tom Foolery's done fighting these guys. And even though Tom Foolery's fighting 10 beak things right now, we know at this point he is stronger than all of them combined. We've already taken down the first one with a <laughs> vicious, brutal scream, dude. I wanna speed it up just a little bit so you can see Tom Foolery he's not getting hit at all the few times they have hit him two to three damage which is just insane another group of beak things are walking by oh wait i i think i have groups on max again <laughs> yeah i do let me turn that down to one it's fun on 4.0 but I, I don't think it's gonna be fair to go fight catlon if there's four times the amount of people there or i guess in this case uh skeletons Shit, man, I'm already spoiling the whole spot. It don't matter. Okay, this ain't my first runabout in Kenshi. The last time I actually went to Omnis Place was like two years ago. Way back in my Kenshi Let's Struggle Season 2. I believe the final episode for that series. So I haven't been there in a long time, but I'm looking forward to it. Right after we get through all of these dust bandits and random people that keep on jumping us. Ah, oh, sweet. The beak things are coming over to help us. See, even the beak things can't stand the dust bandits, dude. Nobody likes those guys. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> this is not ending, dude. We're just gonna have to stop fighting and run. Let's go, Tom Flory. Oh man, we, well, we can't. We got a full backpack. Actually, we got three backpacks, <laughs> to be exact. So I gotta go drop off stuff before we start running down to the ominous place. That or we pick up a beak thing and just start running down there and get some strength experience. We did get to level 67 strength in the last episode, but it'd be nice if we hit, like, level 70 by the time we get there. Let's do it. Let's, uh, go pick up a beak thing and we're gonna start heading down to the ominous place finally i'm not even gonna heal yet because <laughs> there's too many enemies around you yeah, have a coast is not clear <laughs> just see numbers popping up everywhere once the numbers go away i will heal oh this bat see I i'm running and that bastard still caught up to us so it'll be a little bit slower than usual i mean tom Fulery does run really fast normally but this is strength time we're going to be taking on one of the most challenging NPCs in the entire game, so the, any levels that we can get right now are essential. We have a far distance to go. I mean, we're already a little bit away from the Trap of Foolery, but I'm guessing it's going to take a day or two to run down there. Oh, no, 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 Tom Foolery, why you got to run right through Dust Bandits? I mean, I get that they're literally everywhere, and it's, they're hard to avoid, but, I mean, you have all this room here, and he went, like, directly into their path. Get him, man. Show him all who's boss. There's starving bandits here, too. Yeah, make sure there's no survivors. Let's keep on going. We're not too far from spring as well, so we could stop by there. Maybe do some uh, slaver hunting this episode. But as I said, our main goal for this episode is really just trying to get over to the ominous place. The more south we go on the map, it's like the more difficult the enemies become. Right now, I'd say we're kind of in like a green to yellow area where the enemies are weak to like mid-leveled. But once we get down here, dude, it's going to be all red red and orange oh no <laughs> we're passing by this nasty ass dirt uh volcano or what is that spewing out of it maybe ashes or something the volcano always just looks gnarly to me man and then this entire area around here like you can see all the ashes just flying by oh we got a friend to fight there you go a nice giant gorilla give tom foolery some training and <laughs> build some character yeah take that Fucking scumbag trying to run up on me. <laughs> Dude, we, we made his body flip around <laughs> and put him in a different pose. Oh, uh, no. Are these guys all chasing us? Yeah, they are. I don't know how we're, st we're still faster than the land bats, even with a beak thing and encumbered inventory. 
Yeah, you run tomfoolery. We ain't gonna deal with that fucking nonsense back there. They can fuck off. Land bats are just wild, man. They're so annoying to fight because you wouldn't think they're strong, but they're actually not that bad. Oh no, tomfoolery's starting to get hungry. I have to make a stop at Flats Lagoon just to pick up some food quick. Wait, 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 wait. We, we have food on us. we we'll take the raw meat from the beak thing. We'll make a campfire and then cook it. Oh man, I hope you guys are proud of me, okay? I spent 700 hours to learn stuff like that. <laughs> if not, people would have been mentioning it in the comments. You could have cooked the dried meat. Well, there we go. Now we got four dried meat and we're ready to go. Last thing we want is Tomfoolery having any type of stat penalties from being malnourished or starving while he's trying to fight these guys. And we're now going into Gray Shelf. This area is all like Hive area, Southern Hive. They're super violent and they'll attack us on sight, so I'm not going to be trying to run into them. The Selvern Hive can be a bit strong when you got a bunch of numbers, and I just don't want to get beat up before we get down here. Last thing we need on the last episode is spending half of it at a bar healing. <laughs> You'd see a giant dirt volcano back there. 69 strength! <laughs> Dude, there we go. Okay, just leave it at that. Don't need any more strength levels. 69, that is the spot to be. Well, we aren't too far. We might not hit level 70 by the time we get there, but we're gonna be pretty close. Oh my! <laughs> Dude, I was hoping you didn't see me. He snapped, though. One thing I don't get is how do the black gorillas have no meat on them? Like, it's only leather. But we're now approaching Stobes Gamble. Yo, there's a Leviathan. You think we could solo a Leviathan if we're fighting it with a sword now? I mean, we're a bit stronger. It's worth a shot at least while we're here. All right, put down the beak thing, Tom Fulry. Put down the backpacks. Dude, this is actually gonna work. Okay, as long as Tom Fulry doesn't get hit. Yeah, let's go, Mr. Leviathan Slayer. He's actually losing like decent health fast too, see that? I mean, we tried to do this a few weeks ago in uh, a few videos and it did not quite pan out. We had to use a crossbow, so if we're able to defeat this one with a sword, that's a big step. We're hitting it for like 90 damage every time, 89 to 90 damage, and it's only done like 10 damage to us. <laughs> it's hit us a few times, but nothing really serious. It is still taking quite some time. I mean, we've been here for a few hours now. But look at that. The Leviathan's all bloodied up. Come on, we are almost there. His left arm's got like 500 health left. It does regen really fast, but still, our sword shots are doing qu quite a bit of damage. And he's bleeding pretty good right now. It's just, it just keeps on healing. We're almost there. Come on, Tom Fulry. You need like five shots to the left arm. Dude, our head is at 40 damage now. That isn't good. Oh, one more. Come on. Man, okay, so his left arm is... uh crippled now but he's not knocked out maybe we need to knock out one of the essential limbs uh come on tom foolery but leviathan's now in critical condition so come on tom foolery you can do it you got it in critical condition he needs to keep on targeting the leviathan's head but he also has to protect his own if he gets one or two like decent shots to the head and then tom foolery is going to get knocked out Imagine if a leviathan's tried to eat you after like <laughs> that'd be crazy man if they're like a uh, one shot eat you all right, come on, almost there. Knock him out, Tom Fulry. Two more hit. We need like one more hit to the head. Boom! He's down. He's down. Grab that Leviathan pearl and boom, we have killed a Leviathan. We can go grab her backpacks again. And I guess since I dropped my beak thing, oh, I can't pick up the Leviathan. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Can I kidnap him? <laughs> no. Yeah, okay. It looks like we can't do much there, but we are a little bit injured. I think we'll. We'll be able to heal, like, a majority of our wounds by the time we get there, but still, we gotta be careful now. That was a decent, like, half a day well spent, though. I think it took, like, ten hours to kill the Leviathan. Oh, we got scavengers? Oh, no. There's only, there's only, like, four of them. That's not too much. Damn bastards. Like, everything in Kenshi just wants to kill us, especially in this zone of the game. I mean, we have allies with anti-slavers, but I don't think they hang out out here. And, well, of course, the Sheks don't come out here. There's a sniper bot from Old Machines. Um, he doesn't really have good... Oh, specialist grade. I mean, it's all right. It's not really great gear, but at least we got somebody we can pick up now and uh, bring with us. Sonorous dark. Ah, oh, bloody rain. It's literally bloody rain because, well, it's red rain, but it's acid rain. Tom Fulry's burning right now. We have 35% protection, but that isn't really great. There's a creepy outpost over here. 
I mean, that could be worth exploring. I don't see why not. And then a barrier tower out that way. Um, those are all just like skin houses. Um, what about this place? Here, come to me, flesh brother. Don't be afraid. We just want your skin. Oh god, okay, okay. Uh, uh, shit, man, they're actually strong. No, leave me alone, dude. Oh god, oh god. <gasps> oh, oh no, oh no. They, they got tomfoolery. Oh god, man, this isn't good. Where are they taking him? Come on, Tom Fulry, you gotta break free, dude. You gotta break free. Oh no. Oh, okay, he's stuck. That's good for us, I think. Or maybe, maybe it isn't. <laughs> what the fuck's going on, dude? Come on. Um. Hello. Oh no, man. <laughs> well, oh, what a nightmare. So Skin Bandit has captured Tom Fulry, and <laughs> he's just gonna keep on walking back and forth like this. Uh, I'm actually stuck. Like, I can't get out of this one, guys. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Alright, pick that lock, tomfoolery. Wait, wait, what the hell? They they put us in a peeler machine. Run, run, run! Oh no, man, oh no. Why can't we just leave tomfoolery alone? Why did I come out here? <laughs> why, why did I do this to myself, dude? Oh god. Ah, uh, they got him again. Okay, okay. We can, um, escape again. Maybe let's try sneak. Um, it did not work. <laughs> we're gonna have to try to drop some stuff, man. We we are so encumbered right now. Run, run, run! Okay, hopefully Tom Foolery is faster than the skin bandits now. Ah, uh, man, no, they're, they're, like, still a bit faster than him. Oh, my god, man. I just want to get out of here now. Maybe we gotta drop some of these generator cores, like, as much as I'd hate to do it, we gotta get a bit lighter, man. Like, this is not cutting it. I'm just gonna try to dump my inventory and put it all in, like, my best backpack. And see if, uh, that makes us a bit faster. Oh, yeah, we're a little bit, but they're still, they're still pretty on pace. Yeah, we're picking it up. Oh, okay, okay, we only got one following us now. <gasps> And he stopped! Yeah! Okay, okay, let's get the fuck out of here, man. What a bad time. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we'll have much of a better time in the next area that we're going to. So here we are. Now in the Ashlands. Tomfoolery has made it. Let's go under this little place here. And I'm going to put down a camp bed so we can heal and rest for a little bit. There we go. And Tomfoolery can lie down and... I just need to wait and get her head and stomach healed up a bit more before we trench even further deep into the Ashlands. A ominous place. It's not that far away, really. I mean... We've done most of the distance. Oh, God. Oh, no. Skeleton Legion. That isn't nice. Fuck me, man. Oh, no. Well, at least they don't do anything to us. But still, that, that's fucking annoying. Because I almost healed when Skeleton Legion comes by. Like, come on, man. Well, now we're on sneak mode. Let's see if this helps. We got zero stealth skill because of our backpacks and equipment. But it's taken us a lot to get here. I mean... Going from episode 1 to all the way now where we're in Ashlands about to fight Catlon is just nuts. It's been a good few months, but I am ready. We gotta do this and finish this. Oh god, what is that? It is a cleanser unit, dude. We could try to fight a cleanser unit. I mean, that might be fun. But we need to stay <laughs> we need to stay focused on the mission right now, okay? We already got distracted fighting a Leviathan, fighting bandits, and fighting, well, pretty much anything that runs into us. Let's go, Tom Fuller. It's time to run. Now, I'm going to probably guide him for most of this because I really don't want to be running into random groups of fucking skeleton spiders or any skeleton legion guys, throws and stuff like that. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, there's one, but we're faster than them, I guess. So I think we actually got a clear sprint down to the ominous place. We shouldn't have to worry about too, too much. I mean, other than, like, the people that are going to be at the ominous place. I'm thinking we should be able to outrun most of the enemies in this area. Uh, here we go. We're climbing the hill, going up. And I believe this up here is where it's at. Yep. At least one part of it. <laughs> There's an ash dome right there. And then another one, the throne over there. Well, let's go into the first ash dome and see what awaits us. Oh my god, is that... How many storm throws is that? Like... A disgusting number, of course, but just wow. All right, let's do it, Tom Fuller. Take your backpacks off. Let's get it. I want to see how he does against all of these guys because there's a lot of them, but we might be able to clear them all out. Uh, so far, not looking too good. We're getting the odd hit in on him. 
Well, if he can hit three at a time, that'll be nice. I mean, you do like four damage per hit, but we're hitting for like 80, so it's a big difference. See how it goes on fast forward for a little bit. Uh, like, it's not, it's not awful, but, I mean, I do think Tom is gonna get knocked out before he knocks all of them out. Can we run to the other side quick and heal? Yeah, I think we actually can. Oh, we don't have a med kit. I need to, I need to go back and grab our backpack. Oh, man. <laughs> they're, they're all outside now, dude. There's like 50 of them. I mean, I think we can kill them. It's just, this is nuts. So we kill one, a few more spawn or come out of a building. Look, these guys are going back inside. He's grabbing a snack. They don't even care. Well, we are doing it. There's quite a oil pile. I don't believe skeletons can bleed, but I do think they bleed like oil or something. Because look at all that. Not much of that is tomfooleries. I mean, a bit of it is, but not much. Oh no, we're like two shots away from uh, being knocked out. To be fair, we've knocked out like half of them at this point, but fuck, man. I don't want to have to pull our bed back out. <laughs> ah, there we go. Knocked out. Well, there's a lot of these guys that are either going to be rebooting or dying soon. Hey, we're just going to need to set up a camp bed. So we lie down here for now, but soon I'm going to send Tom Fullery back into there. This is a piece of shit. He fucking f he come over to us to start trying to punch us in our sleep. <laughs> he deserved that, man. Try to get some health restored for Tom's stomach and chest, and then we'll run back into there. I mean, we could go into the throne room right away, but we might as well just go right into killing all those guys, too. Look how many we killed over here, man. <laughs> like, a lot. We are at level 70 strength, as well as 70 sabers now, so that's looking a lot better. Alright, Tom Fuller, he's fully healed. Let's go back into the ominous... Ooh! I'm gonna take our backpack off before I forget again. Yep, our other two backpacks are still in here. And now we'll get back to fighting. Tom Fuller, he's already taken 10 damage, so that's a nice start. But one by one, I'll try to kill all of these fucking uh, Storm Throws and Second Empire Exiles. There really aren't that many left, at least compared to when we started. There's like 50 or 60. Now there's like 20 to 30, maybe. We still got a little bit over half health. Yeah, I think we can do this. We're down to just a couple left. There's this guy, and then there's a few hiding around the corner, and a guy crawling down here. But after that, Tom Fulry's defeated all of them inside of this building. There are a few of them I can't really get to because they're stuck past the wall. But I mean, other than that, we pretty much killed all of them. I believe there's some loot in here to find. Yeah, on this unit. Yeah, on this uh, level, the second level up here. Some chests and safes down there as well we gotta check after. And let's start looting around. <laughs> Not, nothing in those. They've stayed here for a thousand years to hold on to fucking three armor plates, dude. Maybe some of the stuff will be... No, <laughs> I was gonna say maybe they'd be in the safes, but that stuff was even worse. Oh, and then here is the top floor. We got a metal box with nothing, and then a small box with burned books. Pretty, pretty worthless. That, just, that's not really cool. Let's go over here and check out the ancient safes. You got a 6% chance to be lockpicked, so there might be something good in these ones. Ooh, there we go. An AI core. Two of them, actually. Two AI cores. That's good. Check out these other safes as well. Oh, my God, dude. I, I've been here for like fucking three, four hours in game now. This sucks. This is the worst, dude. This is a uh, high tier Kenshi gameplay right here, guys. I, I should just stop editing my videos. Just leave it run. Let it run like this. Ah, didn't work. Nope. Not again. <laughs> can, can, can you imagine? We're doing some excellent lockpicking, leveling at least. Like, we're at level 68 now, and we still can't get into this thing. Watch there be, like, nothing in it, too. It'll be, like, ruined, burned books and, like, fucking dried meat. I'm gonna snap, dude. I'm going crazy. I've been here since, like, fucking 1 a.m. 1 a.m. just lockpicking this safe. You know, Tom Fulery, we only got five days left of the 100 day series, and you're gonna spend half of one day fucking lockpicking one safe. Whatever, bro. I, I guess. Oh my god! I can't believe it. Oh, okay. At least there's shit in here. Good shit, too. Not like bad shit. Alright, I've got my inventory filled like right up. I got, I got like a bunch of skeleton repair kits, robotics, components. I won't be able to take the power cores, but I mean, that's all right. 
We still got two more ancient safes to pick too. I don't even know if we'll be able to bring anything else. Um, a single hinge? Yeah, I'm okay. And then, yeah, dick all. So that's kind of nice because we don't really have room for anything else. Now, before we leave, we have one last thing we must attend to. <laughs> Top boy, we're just trying to whack him like 20 times, but he couldn't because he's brawling going up the stairs. You gotta swing down, tomfoolery, like a chop, you know? Fuck me, man. Okay, well, this is the throne. Alright, let's check it out. This will be tomfoolery's ultimate test. There, and there he is. That's Catlon sitting in the throne. Ain't that wild, man? We finally, we've met the man. Well, we haven't met him yet. <laughs> we haven't talked to him or interacted. I'm just looking at him with the camera. So, let's look at his stats, okay? Catlon's supposed to be... Ooh, one of the strongest characters in the game with 100 defense. He's only got 60 dexterity. Well, Tom Foolery actually has, yeah, he has 84 dexterity. So this is going to be a pretty close battle. We're going to want to take off our backpacks near the start here. Just get like a nice weightless inventory. And then, yeah, I guess we try our best. As my judgment comes so soon, I had to throw them all. Traitors siding with the humans. Treason. I'm guessing he's referring to all those guys that were in the other building. He had to throw all of those skeletons because they betrayed him. Now we are nothing. What was the point of it all? Um, I guess to fight Tom Foolery, like, you're here as a boss. Have you tried looking after humans? They're monsters. Yeah, indeed they are, man. I work in the real world and it blows. As they grow in numbers, so does their capacity for evil, and they won't even notice as they do it. Very true. I was not the monster. Ree! Fucking, now he's gonna come up and start to fight us. Let's see. Huh! <gasps> 24. Okay, so Tom Foolery's gonna... Oh, no, no, no. That isn't good. Oh, man, we haven't landed a single hit yet. That isn't good. Ah! Will he follow us if we try to flee? Like, if we go outside or something, is he gonna follow us? I'm getting out of here, dude. I hate, I don't like you. I'm not playing your game, man. Leave me alone. He's following us outside. <laughs> oh, man, dude. He's strong. All right, we can't do that. But is he martial arts strong? I mean, there's only one way to find out, really. Throw our stuff on the ground and try to get it. We have a dodge skill of 83, so I'm hoping that does something. <gasps> no, it did <laughs> Okay, well, well, we hit we hit him once there. That was for 14 damage. Just not a lot. Catlon is very slow, though, if you notice. Like, we can kind of outrun him easily. We can loot his whole fucking base by the time he can catch up to us. <laughs> Let me go sit at his throne. Fuck you, Catlon. I'm the king now. Motherfucker, think you're gonna kill me? Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, he, he still hit me. I was trying to trick him or something, you know? <laughs> so, let's go out here, I guess. Uh, try to run a, a little bit away. Get away from him. You do not want to fight this guy, tomfoolery. Not right now, at least. Why is he still following us, dude? Oh, no, man. Oh, oh, 27 damage. Yo, there we go. It's like our first sword strike. 14 damage. Okay, we might want to fight him outside of here, though, because 72 and 72? What the fuck? Did none of the armor break that? That's insane. All right, can we, like, run away and just get away from him or something? Oh, God, man. No, we are not allowed. This is going to be one difficult battle, man. I give it that. I did not really plan that out. Oh, 19... Oh, shoot. I gotta go back and grab my backpack anyways because we have the bed in there. Because I'm thinking, if he knocks us out, we can probably heal in the bed. Because I don't think he's gonna use a repair kit on himself. Oh, my God. They, they're way up here. What the fuck? Oh, man. Okay. So, Tom Vore is like one hit away from being knocked out now. But still not doing too bad. He's blocking a decent amount of the hits. Just trying to land one or get one in is the hardest part. Oh, man. Okay. That sucks. So, we managed to get three hits on Catlon, and uh, he completely knocked out Tom Foolery. Let's grab our trader's backpack. We're going to heal up, craft a bed. Or not craft a bed, just put down a camp bed. But that's fine. I think if we can, <laughs> even if we got to heal up all the way and do it three hits per knockout, then that is fine. As long as we knock this guy out and take him down. That is the goal. I, I I think we can do it. I don't know. We do have option to maybe use the Eagle's Cross. Like when I run in next time, actually. 
that could be a good idea. We'll run in, stand up a door frame here, and try to shoot him with Eagle's Cross as many times as we can before he approaches us. And even the fact of, like, you guys can see, he was a bit slow and he's constantly aggroed against me. It won't be like when we're fighting the Bugmaster and I'd shoot him and he'd run towards us and we'd have to run out of the building right away. Bugmaster didn't, like, keep aggro after that. So if this guy keeps aggro after we shoot him, we could just keep on running away, shooting him, running away, shooting him. A little bit cheesy, I know, but, <laughs> I mean, if it works, it'll work. There's 2.30, we're ready to go again. I mean, I might as well just leave the, <laughs> the bed right there. No point in dismantling it when... And I'm probably going to end up using it again. Let's stand right here. And yeah, let's try to equip that Eagle's Cross. Of course, it is in our fucking backpack, dude. All right, now let's see. Can we hit him from over here? Oh, yeah, there we go. He's loading it up, loading it up. I do not think I can shoot him. I'm not sure. What if I go on here? Do I have to run up over, like, in sight of him? Maybe right here? Come on, Tom Fulry. Get him. Attack. Come on, man. How hard is it to shoot this guy? Like, it, it's not letting me do it. I can't do it. Okay, right, we got to go grab our samurai armor and our sword then. Well, that sucks. I don't know. Maybe our strategy's just glitched out right now. I'm sure there's a way to fix it, but I'm not trying to figure that out. Let's go back to it. Let's get fighting Catlon. All right, here he comes. Oh, okay. The battle is on to the strongest characters in the world of Kenshi. Catlon versus Tom Foolery. Even though he hit us, like, 23 minus 122. Jeez, come on. Land a shot, Tom Foolery. Yeah, 33, take that, piece of shit. If I cripple his arm, like his right arm, that would be really good for us. Man, he is slipping in quite a few shots, though, compared to Tom Foolery. Like, he hits 5 to 7 before Tom Foolery hits 1. Oh, man, come on. Block those shots, man. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's just so fast. I never see a, a swords, f like, swinging that fast unless it's on, like, full speed. Oh, God. Okay, we're at half health now. We've hit him, I think, once or twice during this one. Oh, there we go. We had one green number there. Two green numbers. A few more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tom Flurry. You doing it, bro? We are getting injured, though. We gotta try to run out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> he knocked us out. So let's go back to the camp bed. I mean, now he's at, like, what, around half health? I I, I can't really see. There we go. Mad Catlon. Yeah, he's uh damaged a little bit. It's gonna take a few more tries. All right. Round three. <laughs> Let's go for it, man. Tom Fullery, you can do this. His uh, robotic limbs are actually a bit more injured now. They have not been healing up as fast, but let's get it. Let's try to try to get Catlon. Come on, Tom Fullery. Whoa, 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 whoa. How is the chest already so beat up? Get out of there, dude. Aw, oh, man, that is not good. Uh, I don't even think we hit him once during that time. Oh, uh, back to sleeping. All right, round four. Let's, let's hope this one goes a little bit better. Come on, man. I mean, I can try to stealth KO him. I don't think it's going to work, though. Yeah, no. 0% chance. Does it increase our assassination level, at least? Yeah, yeah. It was going up a bit. But I don't think we're going to be able to pull it off like that. But come on, Tom Flurry. Just fucking kill him. We got to really bank on hitting either his left arm or his, like, essential limbs. And now he's bleeding a little bit, but not that much. Even if we got him bleeding to the point where he'd be getting knocked out, that would be ideal. Oh, shoot. Okay, maybe let's not fight him right on his throne, because this is where he comes back to after. Let's go fight him outside. Come on, Catlong. Come on out. I'll fight you out here. Ah, uh, 29. No. Oh, 21 damage. Jeez, man, this is rough. Oh, there we go, 16. 16, 16, yeah, 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 get him, Tom Fooley, yeah, get him, fuck him up, fuck him up, man, that's what I'm talking about, what the fuck, dude, what the fuck, we, <laughs> we did it, man, he's dead. He's got an AI core in the CPU of Catlon, and the Fallen Sun. Wow, what a strong weapon. This is like our weapon. It has the same amount of cutting damage as our foreign saber, but it has 2.0 blunt damage. It also does more damage against beak things, gorillas, and leviathans. So specialist grade armor. Yeah, that's wild. I think we do have to kill him though. There's no way we can have him rebooting back up. So we'll take his CPU and he is now dead. We'll take his AI core. Oh, no, 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 no,
My god, no fucking way. No way, man. No way. What? Dude, he fell in a hole. Oh my god. Can't I can't get a sword. I can't get a sword or armor. Can we pick him up from here? Oh my god. No, man. No. Oh. <laughs> Fuck me, man. What a what a joke. And I I don't think I can reload. One, I don't have a save from there. I don't think I've even an auto save and two. It's just gonna be a nightmare to kill him again. Like, what in the actual fuck is that? Did nobody playtest Kenshi 1 to this point? Oh, man. He's got a bunch of stuff locked in his boxes. I don't even give a shit. I'm going home. I can't get the fucking Fallen Sun. Oh, can't pick those up. Can't do nothing, man. You know what? I, I, I can't say I'm not a little bit, like, uh, fucking cheesed by that. <laughs> yeah, that definitely isn't a, uh, a cool thing to fucking happen uh, i'm pretty pissed but uh, yeah why why wouldn't it happen though i can't see the series ending in uh, any other way you know well all right i am about done with fucking this place Tom Foolery needs to head back home um we don't even have room to store a camp bed because we have so much stuff i mean i can drop shit but it'd just be better to buy a new one later now that we have cleared out Catlon's Exile, let's go back to the Trap of Foolery. It's a little bit away, but I think we'll get there way faster if we're not carrying anyone. I mean, we got a CPU unit, and we got his AI core, but, like, one of the best weapons in the game just got cock-blocked from us. So, yeah, uh, that sucks, <laughs> but, I mean, all we can really do is just keep on going forward. We have defeated Catlon, the, like, strongest NPC in the game. As you can see, that took us numerous days. It would have taken us a lot longer had he not gotten, like, stuck in that little spot. So I'm just amazed that we were able to do that just completely as a solo character. We have never had a companion. We've hired, like, mercenaries a few times, and they did not really help. <laughs> no animals no companions just tomfoolery oh there's a leviathan would have been nice to try out that uh fallen sun weapon that we rightfully earned but fuck me man i'm so cheesed i'm never gonna get over that dude of course that's how kenshi has to play out what was this hive scumbag trying to fight us now too jeez man oh great more of them multiple of like three hive scumbags sweet <laughs> They're all like stupid beefy with health too, at least in the head. 200 health each for head is just nasty. There's no worries, we're able to knock those guys down. I'd really like to go sell some stuff. Uh, maybe stop in at Flats Lagoon and see if we can sell things there. Here we are, Flats Lagoon. And try to sell, what, three backpacks <laughs> worth of stuff? I do have to wait a little bit for the stores to open up, but it's almost time. Start off with the armor store, and one by one, I'm gonna just go to all these stores and deplete them of all of their money. All right, we have made the first one go broke. We'll start working on the bars and the other shops. I don't even know if any of them are gonna be able to buy Catlon's CPU unit because, like, this guy he has 10,000 cats to trade with, and the CPU unit is worth 60k. Even though Vyth and Pearl is worth 12k, so <laughs> a lot of his stuff we can't really sell. At least not here, that is. I mean, we might be able to do a bit better in Squin. Well, I think that is mostly stuff, other than the CPU of Catlon and generator cores I kind of want to keep for strength training. We got 142k cats right now. I think now what we're going to do is go back to the Trap of Foolery and possibly go over to Squin, because I think their shops might have enough money to buy the CPU. Oh, trekking it through the swamp one last fucking time. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be back here one day, but yeah, I, I am not going to miss running through there for a little bit. We are almost in Squin. I really just want to sell this CPU unit and see us hit 200k cats. That'll be really nice. Well, the shop is open. I believe the armor shop should have the most amount of money. Let me see. Let's trade 25k. That's not that much as I thought. So we're literally going to have to try to find, like, maybe a Shinobi Thief or something to sell to. I don't think there are any, at least in Squin. What are Dust Bandits in here? Why are there Dust Bandits in Squin? Ridiculous, man. Leave me alone. Yeah, I do not see a Shinobi Thief in here, so... I think we're all out of luck. We're going to have to go back to the Trap of Foolery just with the CPU unit in our pocket. 
But with that, it brings us to now day 99 and our few final moments in the solo playthrough, at least for now. As of this episode's release, if you want to play using Tomfoolery, I'm going to have a save file uploaded to my Patreon, which you'll unlock through any of the tiers. I'll likely do some more content like with Tomfoolery and this series or this playthrough as well in the future. I just want to test out some different like formats for videos and different ways to do stuff, you know, just spark my creative uh vision i don't i don't fucking know man my creative side or something dude but yeah we'll have plenty more journeys and adventures with ton foolery just they'll be in a different like kind of edited format still similar to this one just new things involved like green screen and memes and stuff i try to keep this series pretty uh like bare bones at least when it came to the editing I wanted to really show off what Kenshi could be like as a solo character just playing it on vanilla. And as you guys can see, this is definitely a fun time, man. Other than waiting at the swamp for it to load. Like, we're not even in the swamp, dude. I mean, I guess we're beside it. Yeah, just being beside the swamp is enough to make the whole game freeze. We are now home with, what, I think, eight hours to spare in-game. Let's unload some of our inventory, get rid of a few things. Mainly just these extra backpacks for now. And let's just take a look at what we have. <laughs> dude, it looks like shit. What we have, dude. We got this uh, potion-shaped base with, like, a rock pile and a couple fucking processors. Like, one house. This place is pretty ass. So I think I would like to definitely pimp it out in, like, the future in, like, more videos and whatnot. Let's take a look at our stats. So, on closing in on day 100, we got 72 strength. 94 toughness 85 dexterity and 49 perception our other skills are all looking all right i mean the trades we didn't do a lot in we only did a little bit of ranged uh stuff and for weapons we only use like two classes of weapons mainly i probably should have used pole arms or something else but it's hard enough to level up one weapon class never mind all six Maybe we'll go and do one last bandit fight just for good old time's sake last one of many to come <laughs> of course i want to thank everybody who's been supporting the channel and watching the series this has been one of my biggest series since i've come back to doing youtube so thank you to everybody who's either hopped on you know while watching a series or who's stuck around and been here since before then of course i want to thank all my donators and patreon members you guys are amazing and keep the dream alive I'm going to have some exclusive content on there, like behind the scenes stuff talking about the solo series. So check out that if you want to. But it is finally coming to an end. What was once a uh, goal or a video idea for a title is now almost complete. Three hours left in game remain and then we have done it. A holy nation assault is moving towards the trap of foolery. Why wouldn't it be? What, are we going to arrive in like two hours and ruin the whole fucking ending? <laughs> no doubt, man. Well, Tom Foolery, he doesn't know it, but this will be the last time I'll be playing with him for a while. I think Tom Foolery is pretty proud of himself, though. I mean, in 100 days, we've built this little, well, nothing fucking shack, and then we've got Tom Foolery strong as hell. Like, let's take a look at what he looks like with the armor off Ugh. not very uh good but there we go okay so you can see he's got abs he's got fucking the v-shaped body i feel pretty proud of our boy let's take one more nice screenshot for the ending with just an hour to spare left in game the tomfoolery has stripped down all of his clothes <laughs> let's put on our wooden backpack and enjoy the last few moments as I said, I want to thank you guys all for watching the series. Make sure you check out the playlist and all the other episodes if you haven't seen them already. There will be much more content to come, but thank you for sticking through on this series and enjoying it with me. Now, we have now hit day 100, and we have done it. It is not a shot in itself right there. Take a good look at our boys' skills one more time before we hop off. As always, though, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.